notice that there is something here called Kapton tape, which is over this, these connectors. And this cable actually slipped in. Ooh, I may not pull this out and have it live. There we go. Disconnected. It has connections on both sides. Oh, just one side and then we'll get it. Just one side. So I guess some of these connections come from the other side and then they're routed across to the front. So this is only one set of connections, not on the other side. Not on the other side. But notice that this is an entire assembly. So they probably buy this from somebody, or in fact, here it is. They buy it from a company called Inolux. And they buy that and they put it in their own products. So let's take a look at some of the features of this. Number one, notice that this squishy little thing here is silverish. And what it's being used as, as a ground, because you notice that this, uh, this silver stuff is soldered to a large pad right there. Often they use this for um, serving as some sort of uh, signal ground, not necessarily electrical ground. And they have several of these all over the board. <coughs> now probably prominent to this that you've noticed are a couple of parts. So here's one. AM logic, and I'll look this up, and the AM logic uh, uh, processor is a device, and I actually contacted the manufacturer of this entire device, and he came up with uh, a description of some information about this. Uh, so the company AM logic, if you look at this carefully, it's a complete integrated system targeting di digital picture frame market. And the interesting thing about this is that it has a whole bunch of things on the chip itself. Not necessarily all of them are being used. For example, if I look carefully at the screen, since there is a piece of plastic in front of it, this screen can never be touched. So obviously this is not a touch screen. However, it allows or a touch controller. So that means that this chip that has been manufactured and put on this board actually is not specifically for this picture frame only, but is for a whole bunch of different picture frames. You don't have to use all the functionality of the specific chip. What else does it provide? Well, 32-bit, that means it's a big processor. Uh, it's got a heck of a lot of pins, 216, and if you notice, they're on the outside. It's a lot cheaper to manufacture a quad flat pack than it is a ball grid array. Remember ball grid array, the uh, connections are on the bottom. And then he goes into uh, a little bit more uh, uh, detail, uh, a base operating system, what it looks like they provide it with the chip as well. They also have drivers and everything else. So what it looks like is this entire product is based around this specific chip. And that specific chip also provides all sorts of I.O. that one could ever need. If you look at the back, look at some of the I.O. that you have right here. Here's a USB port, so you can stick it in a USB key. Here is a memory card interface. Here's another type of memory card interface. They're a little bit older. Um, see if this, this switch, this power switch, yeah, the power switch on the back is actually uh, accessible. Interesting enough, look at this. It also has the small mini programmable um, USB right here, and of course here's where you can put in your power. So this USB port right here serves as this device is the master, and the memory stick that you could uh, you know, you store your 8 or 16 gigs on. Uh, is, uh, is a slave device. This device right here, this port, this specific port indicates that you're communicating via a PC, and this port is the slave device when you plug into this. So again, here's uh, some more information. Uh, it, it does really good with JPEG screens, and uh, 
it could actually be. In fact, this guy, when he, when he responded back to me, it's from the user guys, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Talks about the touch controller, the uh, uh, processor, clocking function, the Bluetooth controller. Um, this thing has a whole bunch of stuff on it. High speed UARTs, um, goes into in, in more about the operating system. So that is a rather interesting aspect of this. There's another really uh, interesting chip here. Uh, zoom in right here. It says Toshiba, and it has a whole bunch of numbers. And so what I did is I looked up, and it's amazing what you can find on the internet. So this this Toshiba part, um, which you uh, can imagine, is a I like this Toshiba Confidential, and I pulled it off the web. <laughs> it is a 16 gigabit. That is a two gigabyte memory storage device. So they have two gig of onboard storage for this microcontroller. So this two gig is most likely going to be for the uh, either just the software alone or for the software and images. If I were to bet, I'd say it's this, it's only for the uh, images. And I would bet that the firmware itself is on this chip chip, which I think they also uh, alluded to in my email. Let's see if I can see how much they provide on it. Um, I can't find it off the top of my head. <clears throat> I got to it has some memory on it. Uh, so this just tells you a little bit about that other chip. I actually looked up this uh, wind bond one and I, I could not find uh, any references on this. But the other thing you can uh, take a look at is, of course, a rich set of I.O., which gives its own problem because each time you have external I.O., you have to have some way to protect yourself from it. And I'm looking over here. This indicates what? A oscilloscope. Or an oscillator, sorry. It's not an oscilloscope. That would be silly, wouldn't it? All right, so what it is is that this is a this is a specific embedded board that is used for a picture frame, and most likely <coughs> this, uh, this board has been uh, manufactured for use in other types of devices um, with other types of connectivity. Because if you look right here, there's a whole bunch of pins right there that aren't even used. There's a whole bunch more that are used. There are more down here that aren't even used. And uh, there's a couple of pads around here that uh, have not been um, identified or populated yet. So what it turns out is that this is a board that could be used in a couple of different products, maybe different ones that are more and more expensive. And so very often one of the tricks of a, a designer is that he will design one board to be used in three different products. And then based on how you populate the parts on here will be how much that specific one costs. Look to see if there's any other parts on here that uh, are not populated. Looks, that's about it. It looks like uh, everything else here has uh, most of the major ports or parts have been uh, put on this. All right. So this is today's today's app of the day, which is the Insignia digital picture frame. Is there a multiple of them?